Nick Lesigore here. Exit 12 Homebrew in the basement, in the brewery of Exit 12 Homebrew, here with a little beer on a casual Wednesday. Why not? Working from home, off early. Let's do it. This is Donovan with Sabro. So for those of you following along, I named a beer after my son. Brandon and I created the recipe, and this beer is more of my representation of what a New England IPA is, as opposed to Brandon's. Um, and this is really dank looking, as you can see. The very first beer we did was a Zaka and Citra. I like the Zaka hop so much, I said, let's make a second iteration and do a Zaka and Sabro this time. So that's what this is. Really nice looking beer. Very dank looking. Nice little legs. Um, just just from talking, I can smell pineapple. Huge pineapple, a nice little coconut characteristic. Yeah, I like this beer a lot. We're gonna go in, cheers. Mm. Yeah. You get next to none of that really hot bitterness, which is my, my right down my alley. This is a great beer. Coconut comes through, for me, more uh, on the taste than the aroma. So utilizing that Sabro hop with the 165 degree Whirlpool. Lower Whirlpool, in theory, brings out more of those fruit flavors, less of the bitterness, more my style than New England. But drinking this beer all up in your face, it's not why I'm here. So firstly, we are transferring beers that we brewed. It was a double brew day for the National Homebrew Convention. NHC 2021 is gonna be virtual this year, but they are still having the competition. Brandon came over a week ago. We did a double brew day. In that video, we actually recorded Robo Brew versus the Anvil Foundry. We're gonna be releasing that next month in April. But for now, let's also show some footage of the transfer of one of the beers from the Firmzilla into a keg. Okay, this is our setup to transfer to a keg. This is our fermentation chamber you've all seen a million times. Here are the two beers. And then what we do is utilize a little scale to help do the conversion when we're done transferring the beer. And we'll show you how we transfer the beer. So what we have here is our transfer tube. We got two ball lock disconnects. We have a bouncer filter and a second bouncer filter. This bouncer filter is a lot more fine than this one, the red one. So when we're transferring, it's actually gonna go this way and the more broad bouncer filter will go, the beer will go through first and then the blue one will catch all the finer particles. So let's transfer. All right, here we go, we're gonna transfer. I'm gonna plug in the tubing onto the keg first. We're gonna zero out. I'm gonna tear the scale so it does not take into account the tubing. And we're gonna plug it into the Firmzilla. And we're gonna let some pressure out. We're gonna to have to add gas to this. And here we go. As you can see, add a little gas. Kinda of have to play with this a little bit, make sure that this is right side up. But we are now transferring. And as you can see, we're moving right along. Filling up the keg as it goes through the first filter and the second filter. We leave this top pin open right here. Big thanks to Brian from Short Circuit Brewers for showing us that little tip. We leave it open, we allow the air to escape while it's filling up, and that's that. And that's that for the first beer. Uh, we will be transferring the second beer from the keg that we fermented in 
You can find out more about that in the video in April <laughs> into a finishing keg as well. But just to give you a little update on what we have going on in the brewery. Secondly, and the main reason why I'm making this video is the Brewtubers Online Brewers Club. Uh, I, I'm not here to shill out that product and to get you to join <laughs> the club, although it would be great. Uh, but we have 30 members, we're rocking and rolling, things are going great. Only been around for three months, uh, so that's awesome. But the reason why I'm here to chat, we have not one, not two, but three yeast experiments. And we just opened up registration to the general public to sign up for those experiments, should they so please. Very, very limited amount of spots available for the first two. Uh, the second one has a few more, so the first one, First experiment we're doing is DKN. If you're familiar with Under the Table Brewing, Nate Pico did a Saison called it DKN, I believe. Now they are doing, this experiment is Saisons with different strains of Kvike. There are only two or three spots open for that. Get in while you can. The second one uh, we're doing a month later is a, a regular Saison yeast experiment. So you can utilize any yeast that's not on the website that people haven't already chosen. Chosen. We have about five spots, maybe six open for that as well. And then the third one is a Belgian De Bell. And that'll be a month later, probably sometime in the, I think June to July area. Uh, and so we're really excited about these. That one has a little bit more spots open. General public, if you're not a part of the club, if you have no desire to be a part of the club, but you've always wanted to be a part of an experiment, now is the time to do it. A quick Q&A. You do cover shipping both to the hub and then the hub sending it back to you. So we have one person for each experiment that is gonna act as the hub that's gonna take everyone's beers, box them up and ship them back to you. You will cover shipping on both ends in that regard, but you are getting beers back. Secondly, it is highly suggested borderline mandatory that you go on camera and record your reaction videos to the beers like I'm doing with mine now. Just so everyone gets an idea of where they're at, what their beers look like, what they smell like, taste like, and if we're all getting the same things, it's a great way to communicate, etc. And three, have fun. This is an aw these are awesome experiments, things we're really excited about. But remember, it is an experiment and there are a lot of things at play a lot of variables. There's one specific variable, which is the yeast, and we are all brewing the same recipe. Get as close as you can to the numbers, and let's have a fun time with it. And then lastly, uh, we have some awesome sponsors that have come on for the experiments. Um, Imperial Yeast. I You've uh, heard me talk about them ad nauseum at this point. Awesome people at Imperial. Casey over at Imperial, the rep that I've been working with, is, is absolutely amazing. Be sure. To, to buy Imperial yeast by the bucket. Awesome people over there. They are gonna be sponsoring and members that join uh, the experiment will be getting a yeast pack courtesy of Imperial. Secondly, Five Star Chemicals is on as a sponsor. Awesome people at Five Star, really, really cool. Um, they are on as, as a sponsor of the club and of the experiment as well. PBW, Star San, great people. They have some new products coming out that I'm excited about as a home brewer and they're excited to show you. If you've done a little digging around the interwebs on YouTube, maybe you've seen a couple of our members of the club post some uh, product reviews of this new product. Uh, and then lastly, Beer and Wine Hobby, awesome people at Beer and Wine. Uh, they are also sponsors of the club and they will be sponsoring this experiment as well. www beer-wine.com. Go online, homebrew store in Danvers, Massachusetts. I'm from Massachusetts. They're family owned, they're awesome people. Buy all of your ingredients off of them. They have everything and they have an amazing, the, the most comprehensive yeast assortment I've ever seen. Awesome people there. But do what you can, go online, www.brewtubers.com. Click on the experiments tab, click on experiment registration. You can get all the information about all three experiments and it's so easy to sign up. You just fill out the form, determine what beers you wanna do and, uh, and that's that. And it's just really, I, I took part in a hop experiment one year. I took part in a yeast experiment another year uh, also as exit 12 and, and we just had such a blast doing it. They've also done a malt experiment. Um, and so we've done some awesome things with the club with experiments. So please do not hesitate, go online. And, and check out 
the experiment. Sign up if you can, brew the beer, can it, bottle it, do whatever you do, ship it out. We'll ship you back some beers from some of the finest home brewers in the country. And, uh, and it's just such a great time. Go on video, try them out. Join the Discord, you know? You don't have to join the club necessarily. You join the Discord, you get access to the lobby for free. So you can drink the beers along with everyone else who's in the experiment, who's in the Discord. It, it's, it's an amazing time. The club that we utilize, Discord, is our main form of communication. And it's an awesome place to be. You get answers to your questions like that. And uh, it's, it's really great overall. So I'm gonna cake this second beer. I'm gonna go back to drinking this beer and you guys have yourselves an awesome Wednesday. Have yourselves a great rest of the week. Well, hi, I'm